Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Abhinav and uh, in this video today we'll see about the best 24 hours plan for NEET PG preparation. So I will tell you how can you utilize the 24 hours each day in a very efficient manner so that you will get your desired rank in the NEET PG exams. So already you must have been uh, following your own schedule but if you are comfortable with that schedule you can just go with it or if you are looking for an schedule you, so you can uh, use this schedule. So general rules uh, before uh, uh, seeing about the schedule. So make a plan that suits you. So in this video, I've given a schedule um, which might suit for most of them. But if you think the timings of this one is not uh, suiting you, then don't, don't force yourself. You should make a plan that will suit you and uh, it should be according to your time freedom. So then the second thing is avoid social media. So whenever we uh, study for uh, four to five hours, we'll, sometimes we might get saturated. And uh, when we open our phones, we get into the social media and it's very difficult to come back from. So it's better that you avoid the social media completely. And whenever you take breaks, you can do some other activities like uh, do a small walking or uh, see uh, you can do anything else. Then avoid taking big breaks. So in the schedule today, I've given uh, about timings and uh, break timings also. So you try to uh, complete, you try to do the, all your uh, extracurricular things within that break time itself. So your study schedule should be a very strict one. So you should not uh, extend your breaks by compromising this schedule. So then we need maximum concentration. So studying for like uh, 10 to 15 hours per day, without uh, concentrating properly, it's like uh, of almost no use. So whenever you study, you make sure that you con your concentration is up to the mark. To have a better concentration, you can uh, avoid social media, do meditation in break, and uh, those kind of things which will relax you. So the next thing is you can have a study partner as well. So some of them, it's uh, di very difficult for them to stick to a schedule. So when two people or three people uh, who have same timings as you are, you are having. So you two and three can uh, make a schedule for yourself. And uh, each after a session, you can um, talk to them, see if uh, uh, both are progressing or not. So having a study partner might help you, but some people do not prefer that. So it's up to you. And the golden main important thing is that you should stick, stick to the schedule, whatever you are making, okay? So this is very important because making schedule is uh, not a very big thing, but sticking to it is really a big thing. So the schedule that I have given here is, we'll uh, start at morning 6 a.m. So you can wake up at 5.30, uh, do all your things, and then you can sit at 6 a.m. So from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. will be the session one. So what you can do at that time is you can revise the topics that you have learned the previous day. So previous day you would have uh, learned many topics. So you will, what you will do is you will revise those topics and then solve questions from that topic. So solve, try to solve at least 100 questions and uh, know the explanation for the answers also. So 6 to 9 a.m. you will be doing this. And after 9 a.m. Uh, the next session will be at 10 a.m. So 9 to 10 you can have your uh, breakfast and uh, you can relax a bit. So the next session starts starts at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. what we'll do is we'll revise our notes. So the previous subject notes, each subject you should at least revise at least three times. So the previous subject notes will be revising from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then at 1, 1 p.m. you will take a small break. So then uh, you can uh, have your lunch at that time. Then after the break at uh, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, you can start studying again. So what we'll do this time is that we'll again revise the notes. So if you see here, at least six to seven hours in a day, we are uh, giving it to the revision sessions. So the more you revise, the better you get. So you'll have to revise again at uh, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And then after that 6 p.m., uh, six to seven, you can uh, relax a bit. Then again, you start at 7 p.m. and then you'll go till 10 p.m. So these three hours, what you will do is you will again solve 100 questions or more than that also if you can. So if you see here, 
In two sessions, we'll be solving questions and in two sessions, you'll be revising the notes. So it's like 50 is to 50. And this is the best thing because just reading, reading, revising is uh, good, but not very good. So if you're reading, revising, as well as solving questions, that's uh, really a very great thing. So that uh, the things that you learn is going to stick to your mind for a longer time. So if you see it, each day we are uh, dividing it into four sessions. So three hours each session. So it's almost like 12 to 13 hours per day that you are studying. And uh, half of the time you are revising notes, half of the time you are solving questions. And then uh, in the morning, don't forget to revise the topics that you have learned the previous day also. So this session, this schedule is for people who are at home and uh, who are uh, dedicatedly, dedicatedly practicing, dedicatedly uh, studying to crack the NEET exam. For if you are an intern, so you might have not have uh, much time as compared to others, or you can also be work, working outside. So for those kind of people, what you can do is that from uh, morning to evening, you will be working. So if you say like 4 p.m. your work gets done. So from 4 p.m. you will come to your home and then you will take some rest. Then you should start at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., two hours. What you will do is you will uh, raise the topics that you have learned yesterday and solve at least 100 questions and then know the answer for it. So after that, you will have your dinner break at 8 to 9. So from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m., this is session two. This three hours, what you'll do is you'll revise the notes. So you can revise notes. And then if you have time, you can also solve questions side by side. This schedule is for especially for people who are working or people who are uh, doing their internship. So even when you're doing your internship in the morning time, if you have some free time, then you can use it very well for your revision of the notes. And uh, another thing is that whenever you read something new, so you try to find a case like that in your hospital. For example, you are reading uh, today about uh, say TB. So you'll go to your hospital, see the patients and you can correlate it unlike who are uh, dedicatedly studying. So if you're dedicatedly studying, you will have more number of hours to study. But if you're working or doing your internship, you can uh, use this timetable and try to correlate it clinically. Because nowadays, most of the questions are being clinical. So at your internship, you can definitely use uh, those kind of opportunities to correlate what you have studied and what you are seeing in the clinics. So this is a short video about uh, the schedule, which might help you. So if you are going to follow the schedule, please do let me know in the comment section. So we can uh, follow it together, everyone. And that's all for this uh, video today. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.